Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermal Right SP97 heatsink. What is included in this package is an installation guide, a number of standoffs, spring-loaded screws and washers, as well as a plastic protective sheet, an X-plate, some thermal compound, two 92mm fan clips, two 80mm fan clips, and the heatsink. This heatsink looks a lot like the SP94. Now the SP94 is for the socket 478. Well this one's for the socket 462. If you have a closer look here all the way around it certainly is very similar. However the mounting holes at the bottom are quite different. Where it is similar though is that it's all solid copper. There are 32 fins here soldered into this thick solid copper base and of course you can see that there's pipes that come up from the base and go into these fins and that will certainly help with heat dissipation and as I just mentioned the bottom here is thick and smooth which is going to allow great contact between it and the CPU. Now the dimensions on this heatsink at the top the length, width, and height is 99 by 59 by 50 millimeters. At the bottom, it's 75 by 55 by 50 millimeters. And the weight without the fan is 585 grams. Most coolers and heat sinks these days come with some kind of protective film on the base. And you want to remove that before starting the process of installing your heatsink or cooler. Next place the X-plate on the back of the motherboard with the clear plastic protective sheet which goes on like so between the X-plate and the motherboard. So carefully go ahead and just place this on the bottom. Now you're going to need to align this up so you can see the holes that are on the motherboard right down through the ones that are on the X-plate. Then go ahead and take these four standoffs but first of all take a plastic washer, the large one, and slip it down over the standoff like so and then go ahead and screw the standoff through the motherboard down into that X-plate. Now that the four standoffs are securely screwed into that X-plate which is underneath the motherboard go ahead and apply a thin coat of thermal compound to the CPU and install the CPU then go ahead and apply a very thin coat of thermal compound to the bottom of the heatsink. Then carefully place the heatsink on top and next you'll need to secure this heatsink to those four standoffs with these four spring-loaded screws. Now before you screw it right down you'll need to slip a metal washer on over each one of these standoffs and just go ahead and screw them right into those four standoffs. Now that the heatsink is mounted securely on top of the CPU. Next go ahead and install your choice of fan. Now there are three holes in each side of this heatsink and the four different size fans. The one at the bottom is for an 80 by 25 millimeter fan. The one just up from that is for a 92 or a 90 by 25 millimeter fan and the one up from that is for a 92 a 90 or an 80 by 38 millimeter fan. Depending on which fan you're installing will dictate which fan wire clips you are using. Now I'm just going to be demonstrating here with an 80 by 25 millimeter fan so I'll be using the 80 millimeter clips. First of all slip it in on one side first and then on the other side and do the same thing for the other side of the heatsink. Then go ahead and place 
the fan on top make sure the directional flow is down and then go ahead and just snap this wire frame to the top of the fan so it snaps in like so then go ahead and simply connect your fan to a power source This heatsink offers fantastic performance and overall excellent design, and it uses your motherboard's mounting holes. But before purchasing this heatsink, make sure that you have these four mounting holes in your motherboard. Overall, this is a kick ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.